So, good morning. We are leaving the hotel right now in Venice and we're gonna go to Florence today. There's a really long bus ride. So, yeah, that'll be good though because I can get like a bunch of work done and stuff. But Richard and I um, are actually ready again. Literally, we like need to be better with like time management and like in the morning. We should have like packed last night before going to bed, but I was so so tired. We got up late and we ate breakfast, but then like we were sitting and talking and Anyway, so we're gonna go to Florence today. I'm excited to spend a few days there, which you guys will see like all the videos and stuff. And we're also gonna make a stop in Verona, which will be really, really fun. I've never like been there before or heard of it, but I guess. Actually, no, I'm just gonna show you guys the video. But watching all the way over there, we can't even sit together on the bus because we were so late. Double seats. Oh, buongiorno. <laughs> but Tyson has a thing. Um, so we're going to the bus for maybe an hour and a half. Speech right now. Or thereabouts. I'll show so you guys. We're going to pick up another uh, bus driver. So about midway, uh, I guess, along the drive, we'll have the second driver hops off. And he'll be with us really from tonight onwards. So we just arrived in Verona and we're walking to like the center of town. Um, we just got dropped off by our bus. But this bodysuit that I'm wearing today is from Free People. I'll have all of the clothes that I wear in all my videos or in like vlogs and stuff linked down below just so it's super easy for you guys to get them if you want to. But anyway, this bodysuit is like really low when it's falling down. It's so uncomfortable because we're walking around all day and like doing stuff and like being super active. Um, I'm like trying to cross the street, but I don't really know how it works here. I don't know if they stop for you or what the deal is. Okay, I guess. Um, but anyway, so Gretchen came up with this really good idea that she's gonna cut the straps in the back of it and then we're gonna tie it as a halter just so it like doesn't fall down because I feel like that's been like my struggle all day. I'm like, ugh, so annoying. But we're gonna do that as soon as we find scissors, which we need to do probably at the gelato place. Okay, so I actually just came up with a really good compromise on my own. Yeah, show them. This is what she did. She just tied it with a little hair tie. And then my hair will cover it anyway. So, now I don't have to cut my bodysuit. <laughs> It'll be so much better. places around here like so beautiful for pictures and, like I don't know what I'm gonna do when I leave I'm, like sad but yes, if it is Maggie. I, I can tell by the letters my face so guys <laughs> why do we always find it when we're not even trying so our first stop was at the gelato place I've already started to kind of keep mind just because it's so hot out that it's like melting super quick I'm gonna go in the sun a little bit but it's called Benchy you guys can see on my little cup and I got peach and lemon it's so good the lemon is so good well. isn't it refreshing we felt like we should get like refreshing ones instead of like chocolate or all of like, the... yeah, I get, like chocolate peanut butter always. I know we wanted like really refreshing ones like fruity ones just because it's morning but 
it's super good. And now I'm like so excited to go around and explore and take pictures, maybe do a little shopping. But one of these is too, Maggie. Where? Oh, I know. Okay, I think this is very memorial. This is where Romeo and Juliet, like Juliet's house is. And everybody's taking pictures in front of this wall. It's really cool. It has like notes on it. Oh my god, is it like a love wall? Oh my god. Maggie plus Tyler. I think. I wish I had a pen. I would write something. Wait, this is really, really cool. This is so weird that we're here right now. What? I used to learn about this stuff in school. You guys know I hated school, but... <laughs> I literally hate school. <laughs> Wait, this is so cool. I'm gonna take a bunch of photos right now. So this is the statue of Juliet, and I guess it's good luck if you, like, get up and take a photo with her and, like, touch her boob. It's, like, good luck and love. See, look, everybody does that. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the little main market in the middle of Verona and it's so cute as you guys can see there's like little fruit cups these ones are really cool they have like fresh fruit and coconut in the fruit here's the freshest than it could be anywhere because there's no preservatives or anything like there is in the states look how good all of it looks I want to get some and like bring it with us on the bus so we have a three hour bus ride I want some Gretchen and I are trying clothes on in this really cute Italian store like I really like this dress I don't know why I've been like loving like midi dresses and I don't know, I just like how this one's like V. I can wear it with like some cute sneakers or something and just be like super comfortable while like walking around here. But I have a ton of other stuff that I'm trying on, so I will show you guys as well. All right, and I just tried on this denim jacket. The lighting here is super bad. I'll try to come more out here if you guys can see. It looks just like that. And I don't know, I just really like the color and I like it, like the fit of it and the size, like the sizing and how it fits me. I forgot to show you guys. Honestly, we're in like a rush because we only have so much time in the city. And then Gretchen and I are also getting these shirts that say sister season because her and I call each other sis. So we're always like, hey sis. So we're gonna get these. And I think I'm gonna get these two dresses and then also this jacket. I got a real Italian Caprizi Panini and it came on this like olive bread. Gretchen and I both got them in Verona at one of the little restaurants over there. We wanted to sit out and eat it outside and get like a little drink and stuff, but we don't really have that much time. But it literally is so good. Like the bread is so fresh and so is the mozzarella. Like doesn't taste anything like they do at home. So we finally touched down in Florence. Right? Yeah, Florence. Yeah. And so we are going to dinner now, but Gretchen and I finally, like, we're hoping so that we're going to be on time. Come down here? I don't think so. No, that's the one that has seats on the top. Um, but I'll show you guys a little bit of a view that's outside of our room, and that's so pretty. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And we're staying at this, like, camp hotel place. Yeah, we just arrived today. And I'm exhausted. We were on the bus for so long and we were just like running around and all sweaty so I just finally took a shower. I'm very fresh and I feel super clean and there are people from um, our group up ahead in front of us so it's good that we're not late. But um, outfit tonight, I'm wearing this free people bodysuit with this skirt from Forever 21 and these Tory Burch sandals because I I think that they're really comfy, even though Tory Burch is so, I don't know, I feel like it's like outdated. Like I used to wear this I feel like school. Tory Burch is the old me. Yeah, Tory Burch was Tory the old me too. I used to wear Tory yeah. Burch flats all the time in high school, but, oh, and then I'm wearing these Ray-Bans, but like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. And so we just got in the, the bus Sorry, thingy. I, want to I, want to, I want to turn mine down. Gretchen turned down her brightness on her camera and it looks yeah, like this. That's <laughs> that's 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 yeah, background. I did it. Yeah. Looks really good. No, no, honey. 
anyway, now we've got that figured out, and we just got onto the into the bus. And Gretchen and I got these two little funny seats in the front <laughs> of the driver, and everyone else. Is It's the Barada that Gretchen and I were talking about last night. No, we got like that type. Well, we were talking about Barada all day because we like that, but we yeah. ate the buffalo mozzarella last night. And for dinner, I just got a traditional margarita pizza and they're cooking it in those like little um, brick like stove things. And I saw someone eating it over there. I was like, oh my god, that looks so good. So I ordered one now. We're waiting for it to be finished. And then Gretchen's over there and she's ordering pasta. And we're gonna like do both. So she's gonna have pasta and I'm gonna have that little pizza. And then we're gonna split. This looks so good. Gretchen's gonna freak out when she sees it. And I have to carry it on this big thing right here <laughs> and go show her. And I'm gonna get her reaction right now. I know, I literally was just like, Gretchen's gonna be like, that looks so good. Doesn't it look okay, so meeting. good? So Gretchen finally got her pasta. Yeah. And we got our rosé, and now we're gonna eat. And then there's so many places to get dessert around here. Oh my god, I look sweaty too. There's so many places to get dessert around here, so I'm so excited to like eat some sort of dessert, but I have to take my um, red lip off because it was literally gonna get everywhere when I was eating, so I had to take that off. So an update on the pizza. Gretchen and I agreed that this is literally the best margarita pizza we've ever had in our whole life because it's just so like light. There's something about it. I think it might be like that the cheese isn't as heavy as it is at home, the sauce isn't as, he as heavy, and the bread is literally fluffy. Like it doesn't look like it would be, but it's so good. And you can tell that Gretchen <laughs> is loving it. It's so good. And this lady, I don't know where she just went. So there was just this lady walking around who was like taking pictures for Eli. And Gretchen and I were like taking all these pictures and she thought it was the funniest thing. Like us taking pictures of our food and like cheersing our drinks and like doing boomerangs. So she was like taking professional pictures of us like for the restaurant and stuff. And it was so funny. And then she was like, oh, like, I'll give you the pictures. So hopefully she emails them to us because they were really, really cute. And they were like on her professional camera. And she was like taking them from like up above. It was so cool. The other side of that huge church in the middle of Florence. Whoa, this thing is huge. Like, I wonder what the inside looks like. Sometimes I feel like you start vlogging, and, or you start talking, and then you start vlogging, and you'll be like, so this, and then you click, like, record, and I'm like, you just, like, miss the whole thing. I probably did, but everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. A picture together for five minutes. Oh, he wants to, like, draw our heads. It's like a fat head thing. That's cute. <sighs> Okay, so we're finally home and I didn't vlog my gelato. I literally forgot all about it just because I feel like I've had such a long day and I'm just like in a haze right now and I need to go to bed. I'm still like not really used to this whole time change thing. It's really weird because right now it's 10 o'clock here in Florence, but at home it's four o'clock. And like I'm hungry on the schedule at home. Like when we wake up here, I'm not hungry. But I get hungry around like lunchtime afternoon because it's like morning time at home when I should be eating breakfast. I don't know, it's the weirdest schedule. So basically right now, like I'm in a huge haze. I didn't vlog my gelato, but you guys have seen so many like vlogs of gelato. We actually had gelato earlier, so you guys would have seen that. We had it twice today, but tonight I got like a really mini one. It was like a tiny, tiny scoop of the fresh berry one. It was really good. I had like a little seeds from the um, raspberries that they made it with. But it was so good and we're so tired, so we're gonna go to bed right now. My, I, you can hear it in my voice. Yeah. I like sound like you when you wake up. Yep. Mm, I'm so tired, but I'm gonna go to bed. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog.